What's up guys? Major with Hustle Paintball. I'm out here at the Hyperball field and I'm going to try out some chest protectors. If you recall, a couple months ago, Caleb was uh, trying out the die bounce vest and we ended up shooting him with a bunch of reballs at very close range. And I felt really bad about that. And as sort of a uh, recuperance to him getting shot in the chest uh, about 12 times, he will be our marksman for the day shooting me with chest protectors. I am going to rate on a scale of one to 10 how I feel about these chest protectors. Um, the paintball marker we're using is an E-Tech 4. It is chronoed at about 272.80, so a little lower than you'll normally see on a, on a paintball field because we try and get it up to as close to 300 as we possibly can. And he's about 15 to 20 yards away from me right now. And Caleb is going to do his darndest to shoot a stack tube marker and not hit me in the arm or the neck or the nuts. So right now I'm wearing the ISI No Surrender Chest Protector. And I'm not looking forward to this. I'm trusting Caleb with my body. I'm getting all worked up. He's going to shoot me now and I'm going to tell you how bad it sucks or doesn't suck. So here we go. Oh, uh, oh, bounce. Okay. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, okay. I got two bounces and two hits. Uh, it's like a three or a four. Not too bad. I'm going to change up to another vest and have Caleb shoot me again. All right, next up, the Empire BT uh, chest protector. And this one's pretty big. However, there's not a whole lot of padding here. I'm really not looking forward to this. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, one more. Oh, same spot. Oh, that's like an eight. <laughs> Solid eight on that one. Let's do the next one. Next up is the Valken chest protector. It feels very similar to the Empire BT chest protector, i.e. kind of soft, not a whole lot of rigid padding feels more like a bounce vest than anything. So I'm really not looking forward to this one either, but hopefully they'll uh, I'll get some bounces and I don't know. It just, I, it's probably just gonna sting. So here we go. Oh, oh God, that's even worse. Ah, that's a, a, a uh, this many, nine. It's a nine, that one's a nine. Let's, let's do the next one. Next up is the VTech uh, chest protector from Valken. And this one feels a little bit more solid. I'm feeling, uh, feeling a little more confident. I feel like, uh, feel like this is not going to suck nearly as bad, even though I'm so not looking forward to it. Hit me, Caleb. Oh, oh, one more, two more. Ow, you fucker! ow, ow. Ow! Ow! This, not so bad. Like a two. Not bad at all. That, ow. Like a five. Your dick. Now last, but certainly not least, is the Tipman chest protector. This one feels really solid. Caleb says that it might hurt if it goes through a vent, but we're gonna find out. I'm actually pretty confident with it though. I think this is probably gonna be the least sucky one out of all of them. Although, that VTAC one was pretty nice. Oh, here we go. Bring it on. Oh, it's not good. That's like a six or a seven. It stings right in this area real bad. Woo. All right, guys. So bear in mind, as always, there's a big difference between chest protectors and bounce vests. These were all chest protectors are designed to reduce pain and protect your internal organs and so forth and reduce the amount of welts that you're wearing at the end of your day of paintball, whereas a bounce vest is primarily worn by people who are playing tournament level paintball and want to promote bounces so that they don't get called out by getting shot with paint. So out of all of these, I think that my favorite would have been the Valken VTAC. I felt the least amount of pain with it and felt the least encumbered by it while I was wearing it. The Tipman one's pretty good. It's uh, 
It's not terribly bulky, but it didn't do a great job of protecting me. I think it's just a little too flush with my skin uh, so that the force transfer was just enough that I could really feel them hitting me. The, uh, the Valken and the BT chest protectors were very light and agile. Um, unfortunately, they were a little big for me, but I can see them being useful if you want to keep moving around. Uh, these big vests that are underneath your jerseys can get in the way of a lot of things. and. The, those uh, softer, more plush ones are easier to work with, easier to m get mobile with. But for me, I think that uh, the Valken VTAC was by far the best compromise between mobility and protection. So that sucked. I love you guys. If you want to see more videos like this of me getting shot or Caleb getting shot, Oh, by that reminds me. This is not the first time we've done this. We actually have another video that we went over chest protectors, and you can go over there and compare the ratings between the uh, the old video and the new one with me. See what the differences are. Plus, there's a couple new vests that we covered in this one that weren't in the old one. But if you want to check out more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to keep up with what's going on with Hustle Paintball and the paintball world in general, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always. Join the discussion with us here at Hustle Paintball and each other on pbriot.com about your favorite chest protectors or bounce vests. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. That sucked. You're mean. <laughs> the exact same spot. You're a dick. <laughs>